Welcome back to Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire for another match from the Pro Series Random Draw Doubles Tournament. This is a second round match featuring the team of Joe Rochelot and Craig Holbrook. This is Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski. And we'll get right to it. Joe Rochelot is on lane three. Jesse Jakes on lane four. And Jesse Jakes with a spare on lane four. He takes out the one, two, four. Goes to the right side of the head pin. And Joe Rochelot matches him with a spare. So they're both off to a good start. And Jesse Jakes with a strike on that spare. Let's have another look at this solid 1-3 pocket hit. Doesn't take very long to go. So he's off to a flying start. Joe Rochelot with a 9 drop leaving just the 2 pin. A couple pieces of wood out in front of it. So he's got a good chance to put another spare on the board. And he's got it. Caught a little bit of that cap, so it was not the uh, not the cleanest conversion ever seen, but it's a spare on the board. And that'll keep pace with Jesse Jakes. Jesse drops six, leaving one, three, four, and six. So Rochelot punches out four. So he's got 33 after two. And there's a great shot by Jesse Jakes for the spare. Third mark in a row. Let's take a look at this. He goes to the left side of the head pin. Ball goes over and takes out the four, and the head pin goes right into the three six. Three marks in a row for Jesse. And he has 50 with a spare up in the third. Joe Rochelot will be open in the third. Still has four left. And he'll take a seven. So Joe Rochelot has 40 through three. Jesse Jakes with a seven drop, leaving the four, seven, eight triangle and a tricky piece of wood at an angle in front of the four and eight. He might have a hard time getting back into the corner with this. And that's exactly what happened. The wood directed the ball around the seven pin. And he was only able to get the four and eight. Still it's a seven on the spare in the third, and he has fifty-seven through three, which is good for a seventeen pin lead. That'll be a nine in the fourth. Joe Rochelot also with a nine box. And Jesse drops seven, leaving one, three, and seven. Pretty difficult spare. Can certainly be made, though. And Joe Rochelot with a Another four drop. He uh, missed the head bend to the left. He has the one, three, four, seven, nine, and ten. A piece of wood behind a three pin that might help him a little bit, but it's a pretty difficult shot. Difficult spare. And he gets everything but the ten pin. Nice bid by Joe. And Jesse Jakes with a nine box. In the fifth, we'll take a look at the scoreboard. It's a 17-pin uh, lead for Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski over Joe Rochelot and Craig Holbrook. 
as Craig and Jeff begin. Craig Holbrook punches through the head, uh, punches through the middle, taking out the 158. Jeff Slazinski has a five drop and a makeable spare because of that wood behind the head pin. It might help him take it out. But he missed the head pin. He got turned out, he got everything but the head pin. Craig Holbrook with a nice bid on that split. He got the whole right side and got a pin to come over and take out the seven. But the two and four remain. There'll be a 10 box for each guy to start the match. Jeff Slazinski on the head pin, second box. A little bit light in the 1-3 pocket. Drops 7, leaving a 2-4-5 triangle. And Craig Holbrook drops 8, but he's got the 7 and 9, and not much to shoot at it. Piece of wood in front of the 9 at an angle, but it doesn't really look like that's going to be very usable. Jeff Slesinski takes out that triangle for a spare. The piece of wood in front of the 9, Craig was not able to use it to... Uh, get either the 7 or the 9. He'll take a 9 box in a second. Jeff Slazinski working on the spare. Jeff drops 7. He's got the 1, 7, and 8, hence Nice piece of wood behind the head pin at an angle. This might help him. And you can see Craig Holbrook almost left the same lead, but he got a, a tough break there getting uh, the head pin to fall. And uh, there's a spare by Jeff Slazinski. Have another look at this. He hits it perfectly. And actually, the ball pops up and takes out the eight while the head pin goes over to take out the seven. Craig Holbrook is looking over this piece of wood in front of the seven and eight. A couple pieces of wood, he's trying to decide what he wants to do with it. And you can see, it's a little bit difficult to envision what he's gonna do with that. Oh, nice try by Craig, but he wasn't quite able to get high enough to push that wood back into the corner. He'll have a 9. Craig has 28 through the third. Jeff has 37 with the spare to fill that he just made on that 178. Jeff once again on the head pin 1-3 pocket. Drops 8, leaving the 2 and 5. Craig has and the one, three, six, seven, and nine. Jeff misses the two five, so he'll be open in the fourth. Oh, Craig with a nice bid. Got everything but the seven, so he'll also be open. Slazinski will take a 9 box, and Craig will take a 10 in the 4th. Jeff has added 16 pins to the 17 pin lead that Jesse Jakes has over Joe Rochelle. So it is a 33 pin lead for Jakes and Slazinski right at this moment. And Jeff with a 9 drop. Almost a strike, leaves the 5 pin. Craig 
Holbrook also drops nine. He's got the three. Spare in the fifth by Jeff Lazinski. So he's got 64 with a, a spare. And Greg Holbrook misses the spare. Started to say Jeff Lazinski has 64 with a spare to fill when he comes back up. Greg Holbrook will take a 10. He's got a 48 half. So let's look at the scoreboard again. You can see it's a pretty substantial lead for Jake and Slazinski at this point. 17 and the 16, so it's a 33 pin lead. And Jeff also has that spare to fill when he returns. Joe Rochelo on lane four. Jesse Jakes on lane three. Joe drops six. He has a four horseman right side. And Jesse with a nice one-two pocket hit, but he leaves a five-seven. No wood to help. Let's see if Joe can run down this four horseman. And a nice try, but he caught the head pin a little thin. And a spare by Jesse Jakes. He cuts the five into the seven. Let's take a look at this. Look at how thin he cuts the five pin over into the seven. That's a, a little celebration there. Entirely justified by the conversion he just made. And there's a 10 box by Joe Rochelot. Joe has 68. And Jesse has 85 plus the spare fill through six. So he and Jeff Slazinski are really putting the screws to Joe Rochelo and Craig Holbrook at this point. Big lead about halfway through the match. Jesse with a seven fill, that gives him 92. with a nice bid on that 246. Couldn't quite convert it. And both bowlers will be open in the seventh. Joe Rochelle with a nine and Jesse Jake with a seven. takes out the five pin. Great ball right there. Let's see what Joe can do with this three, six, seven, ten. He's got it. Another fantastic shot right there. You can see he cuts the three over into the seven. Really precise shot making by both bowlers. Joe with just four on the spare. Kind of needed a big fill at this point. And a nice bid, almost converting that four drop. Jesse with a seven fill on the strike. Seven box. Through nine, Jesse Jakes 123, Joe Rochelot an even 100. So it's 23 plus 16 for a 39 pin lead for Jakes and Szynski. And that's plus the, the hit that Jeff had in the fifth. So we'll add to that. And a very
very light hit by Jesse Jakes in the 10th. He leaves a 7-10. A couple pieces of wood, but they don't look very promising. Joe Rochelle with a great try on that three drop that he had. He just stuffed it in the one-two pocket. Got everything except the 10 pin. He's had a couple that he came very close to making, but they didn't quite go for him. And it'll be a 10 box for Joe Rochelle and a 110. Jesse Jakes with an eight. He has 131. Take a look at the scores. 21 pin margin by Jesse Jakes over Joe Rochelle, and you add the 16, and it's a 37 pin lead for Jakes and Slazinski with the additional fill that uh, Jeff has in the fifth. 37 plus. So Craig Holbrook needs a big half right here. He starts with a nine drop. That's a good way to start. That's going to be a five fill for Jeff Slazinski. So it's it's now a 42 pin lead. Craig with the spare. And, that's it. and a great shot by Jeff Slazinski. Spare right on top of him. Here he takes out the Kaliri. One, three, six, eight, ten. A little piece of wood behind the three that I think helped that three pin go over into the eight. But in any case, it's a Excellent shot by Jeff for a spare in the sixth. Craig Holbrook puts eight on his spare. Jeff adds six. So as of right now, it is a 40-pin lead for Slazinski and Jakes. Craig Holbrook with another spare in the seventh. Pretty much mandatory at this point. He's got to probably mark out at the very least. Jeff Slazinski with a nine box. He's got 94 through the seven. Seven, leaving a one seven ten high low jack with some wood behind there that could assist him in taking out the corner pins. And there's a great shot. He covers that nicely. I don't know if that. I don't think he needed the wood right there. The head pin goes into the seven. The ball. Might have taken out the 10, but I'm not sure. In any case, the wood took out the 10. So that's three spares in a row for Craig Holbrook and badly needed. Jeff Slazinski almost converted that four drop. And he will take a nine in the eighth. Craig with just five. One, three, seven, eight, ten. This one's a really difficult lead. And Jeff with a five, seven, and a couple pieces of wood. But he goes a little bit too far, too high on that wood, probably. And that pin finally goes for Craig Holbrook. Both bowlers had 10 boxes in the ninth. 
And there's a strike by Craig, but it's gonna be uh, not gonna be enough. Jesse Jakes and Jeff Zinski will engineer what you would have to call an upset win over Craig Holbrook and Joe Rochelo. Here at the random draw doubles. Jeff will finish out. And then Craig will fill that strike just to get to the final score. Jeff Lezinski with 122, so his team with a 253 total with the 131 by Jesse Jakes. So as Craig Holbrook finishes the, uh, fills out the strike, he will fill with seven, so that's a 125. So he and Joe Rochelot with 235, and they are defeated by Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski by 18 pins, as you can see. We will be back with more action from the random draw doubles later in the week.